Hello everyone, welcome back to the SAP Manufacturing Channel. In this video, we will create an inspection plan for our fake company, which is a um, manufacturer of uh, different fertilizers, let's say. So for one particular fertilizer, we are um, we need to, to do the good to seed, right? And we need an inspection plan to do the inspection for that good to seed uh, from production, okay? So this is the example for today. Let's review what we're gonna do. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're gonna be creating an inspection plan header. After that, we need to maintain the operations. And after that, we will maintain the master inspection characteristics inside that operation. That's it, let's jump right in to SAP. Let's create our inspection plan. We can go directly from QP01, or we can go using the SAP menu path, logistics, quality management, quality planning, inspection planning, inspection plan, create. Okay, we're gonna be creating for this material. This is the semi-finished product. I plant the Z1. We're gonna leave the group blank because the system will assign automatically an internal numbering. We can use the copy model or we can just create it from scratch. This time we will create this from scratch. Just gonna press enter or continue here. Gonna press enter. The group counter uh, <clears throat> proposed is one, but we can change it to zero um, because this is the semi-finished one, okay, bulk. We might use the counter to reflect the type of package, for example, we are using for the finished products, okay? That's sort of an example. In case we're gonna use the same um, or similar, let's say not the same, but the same group, but a similar um, in quality inspection uh, plan, okay? The material assignment, this is similar to the master recipe. We can assign more than one material to this task list, okay? But we can share, even though it's not the same counter, it could be the same group, okay? That's advisable to use the group to group different uh, materials, but similar, right? Um, under the specifications they need to go through. We can do as an example in another video for that. Okay, so we have the usage. The usage is production because the purpose of this inspection plan is for the good received from production, okay? So when we do the good received from production, we'll then 101, we're gonna get the product into quite inspection stock until we perform the, the inspection and do the user decision to move it to unrestricted with the movement 321. The overall status in general is who four, Okay, we will use the standard release general, as you see. We can assign a planner group as well. The idea of a planner group is for, um, we can use this for having access or not to certain uh, people, right? Because we can define this group and we can assign the access based on the planner group. The planning work center, we can assign a work center here, um, but basically it's needed in another place. Let me check, uh, yeah, let me choose here the main lab. The quality control could be used in the inspection. The CAPP will be used only if we use uh, these um, external, not external, but this uh, other functionality for, for graphics, okay? We're not, this is not in a scope. Lot size, when you see blank means is zero, right? We can use lot size ranges to make valid different inspection plan. This is 
more common to use for um, good receipt from purchase orders because depending on the lot size, you can define new inspections. Okay, for example, if it's a really huge um, deliver from your vendor, right? Maybe you want to really do more inspection, more characteristics to be inspected, just to be sure it's in the right specification and complies with all your requirements, right? So this can be useful for that kind of stuff. The old task list number is basically to trace if you are migrating from one legacy system to SAP s right? You can have the old task list number here just for traceability purposes, okay? So you can have reports in the other system, right, that will trace to this one or the other way around, right? And you can go back to a year where you used to use the old system so you know that this new group encounter will be the same as this one, okay, for the same product, for example. Okay, inspection points. We're going to be using this time um, inspection point for sampling, sample management. Okay, um, you can use also different inspection points. The typical one is 100 or 200 when we use sampling management. Okay, we need a sample drawing procedure as well. We can drop down here. Check, let me choose this one. We're not going to be using dynamic modification for this one. We can do that in another specific video for that. And it's more uh, typical for, for good receipt from POs, from purchase orders in general. So we can skip some of the inspection lots, for example or we can skip some characteristics, depending on what level we're doing the dynamic modification. External numbering, we're not going to put anything, it means it's going to be internal, nothing for the change parameters, and not, it's the ME um, connection here or interfacing is not in scope. That's it. We, we have our header, okay? So we can jump to the operations. Okay, so we press operations. Here we have multiple operations potentially, right? But the typical thing is to use one, two, or three, okay? If you have one lab, you will just add one work center here and you will just add the specifications here, okay? Um, the work center is not mandatory though, but you, you will need it just for the sake of traceability, right? So you, if you have more than one laboratory, you have a production laboratory, you have a main laboratory, maybe you have an external one, right? So it's better to differentiate them. So let's assign one work center and uh, we will define the characteristics as well there. Okay, so main lab, for example. We would put their QM inspection, courtesy from production. Okay. If you have a microbiology um, laboratory, you can mention microbiology analysis, inspection, right? You know, external um, inspection, etc. Right? And you will define different uh, work centers here. So in this case, it's going to be the typical one. We need to assign the QM control key. Just as a reminder, let me just scroll down. QM will allow us the characteristics, right? Let me just select this. There you are. Inspection characteristics required, okay? Let me double click here. Okay, and now we have what we need, right? We're not gonna be dealing with the cost here, okay? This is just an inspection plan. The cost is um, captured, let's say, in the process order, and it's in the master recipe where you can sit you can tell all the production standard values. Okay, here we just need this to add the characteristics, okay? So here is where we can assign the characteristics. That's uh, our next step.
Okay, so now we just need to press the inspection characteristic button here to jump into the details of the characteristics assigned to that operation 10. Okay, this is the operation 10. Then we can assign the characteristics here, from here. Okay, this is a column for that. Let me do a trick here. I will drop down to search for the characteristics. Normally you need to do this in an Excel. Since I have just a few of them only, I can just do the following. I will press Ctrl Shift Y and I will select all of them. These are the ones I want to add to this inspection plan. Then I can just Control V, paste this. Okay. So I will start, I will press enter, and the system will start asking me for the sample procedures, right? It's one by one. So let's start. So, sample procedure for this this is a quantitative. Okay. The sample procedure has to be very specific. For example, in this case, this is quantitative, but it's also SPC, okay? So the sample procedure for that cannot be the same because it's going to be, um, I will choose this one, three. It's going to be different requirement, right? The other one was without SPC, okay? And then we need to select here the criteria for that which is basically, typically, is master inspection characteristic by material, right? This is what we want to see in SPC. Press enter again. We go to most your content. Let's drop down. Now we need to use three. And um, again, the same inspection characteristic by material, enter, nitrogen content, this is quantitative on the one, and the next one, potassium content is probably three because we need SPC, right, and stability I think it should be two because this is qualitative. Yes. Yeah, there you are. Okay, excellent. So we assign um, all these master inspection characteristics. I just want to point out that we have one which is qualitative, as you can see here. Okay. And there is one in particular that already brought the method, inspection method, right? For the others, we should assign it manually here. So how can we achieve this? Well, if the method is intrinsic to the master inspection characteristic, right, that you need to do that inspection method for that, then you can assign it inside the master, the, sorry, yeah, the master inspection characteristics, okay? If it's not necessarily, well, you can just leave it without it in the master inspection characteristic Therefore, you will have here the chance to add others, okay? I haven't created others um, for the sake of this um, scenario. This is the only one, and I assign it directly. That's why it was inside this characteristic, okay? Let me see if I can show you something here. So we have, we can click in any of this, any characteristic, and start checking the uh, information okay related to that so in this case this is an impression method i was talking about okay as you can see it's inside okay and of course for the quantitative we also can see the ranges in this case it's no lower limit only upper limit 0 0.5 because we don't want to have greater than this the dust level, okay, and so on. Then we have the SPC criterion, basically for the ones that were defined as SPC characteristics. 
for the ones that are not defined, that is not possible, right? As you can see here. Okay. Excellent. So we cover all the master recipes. I'm sorry, all the master inspection characteristics um, assigned to the inspection plan. Okay. Let me go to the header again. Okay. So in the header, we assign inspection point 200. This is because we want to have sampling, uh, sample management. Okay. And um, the sample drawing procedure accordingly. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing else. Excellent. So we finished the, the video. I hope you, you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave the questions or comments or any improvements that I can make. If needed, I can create a new video um, with the explanations or the, um, the features that were not mentioned. Okay. But of course, this is covering the main ones and it will be um, a working object for our inspection in our scenario of the fertilizer company. Okay, I will show you uh, some business processes that will be using this inspection plan. Thank you. Thank you for watching.